हॅलो एव्हरीवन माय सेल्फ प्राजक्ता मात्रे फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स सी के ठाकूर कॉलेज न्यू पनवेल टुडे आय एम गोईंग टू डिस्कस ऑन अ टॉपिक इंट्रोडक्शन टू आर्डिनो प्रोग्रामिंग सॉफ्टवेअर इन लास्ट सेशन वी डिस्कस ऑन टॉपिक बेसिक्स ऑफ आर्डिनो सो हेअर वी परफॉर्म सम प्रोजेक्ट्स और सम डिझाईन्स ऑफ आर्डिनो सो लेट गेट स्टार्ट सो फर्स्ट यू नीड अ बोर्ड ऑफ कोर्स वेन वी परफॉर्मिंग एनी डिझाईन और वेन वी बिल्ड एनी डिझाईन वी नीड अ बोर्ड so there are two uh, types so first is software we have to download the ide software with the help of this with the help of this link so you can be, uh, build your own software so you have to first download uh, the ide software then install it install all the libraries which is used for arduino uh, for the programming then the next uh, you have to Uh, the next way so you have to download the tinkercad app uh, first you have to download and then log in with the help of username and password so there are two methods for arduino programming so you can uh, the beginners are can uh, started uh, their uh, program building building of the programming with the help of tinkercad also so then the arduino ide so arduino ide is integrated development environment which is used to build a program also used to write a sketch or a code it provides all necessary libraries and function the library uh, libraries and function then there are toolbar has standard option like file editing sketch tools help etc so these are some toolbars uh, are used uh, are present on the arduino ide software then the next there are few steps while writing or while performing this programming so first you have to write the sketch on your uh, personal personal computer then you have to build the program on the arduino id uh, sorry arduino board then you have to connect that arduino board with usb uh, sorry by usb with the your personal computer then the next step you have to download the sketch verify that sketch and then upload so these are three steps first is writing downloading and uploading you have to follow while uh, that programming then next uh, so we have start from the arduino software and uh, we have to build a program uh, of the blinking and led so we need the most basic kind of program you need a simple actuator uh, and led with a long leg so led has two legs first uh, one is the long which is called as positive and one is the short which is called as negative the positive leg is connected to pin number 13 and the negative leg is connected to ground so you have to connect that arduino uh, sorry connect that led to arduino board uh, at the pin number 13 and ground then the resistor which is used to resist the excess of current or excess of uh, excess amount of current so this resistor limits the uh, excess amount of current which is uh, which provided to the led so this resistor is connected to the pin number 13 at positive end of the led also the ground uh, is connect the led is negative terminal is connected to the ground then we have to write the program so the code having the three parts first is header so this header provides an information for Uh, writing the information which is for only for us not for the programming so this uh, information is written in the form of some statements or some functions uh, such as the line statement so there are two line statement first is forward line statement means single line statement and multi line statement single line statement is uh, represented by the two forward slashes and the multi line statement is uh, Uh, indicated by the ek one forward slash and asterisk marks so this single line statement and multi line statements are used to uh, indicate the uh, term which is not accepted by the compiler then there is a uh, while writing the programming there are two types of the blocks so first is setup block and then loop block For, uh, setup block is uh, indicate so it contains a program executed only one times so in the uh, setup block block function the program is executed in only once time then in loop block function 
the program will ex uh, executed with multiple time or uh, two or more times so there are two types of blocks one is setup and one is loop block there are uh, some digital input and output function like pin mode uh, digital write and digital read so in setup block we write the pin mode function which is indicated by mode and their pin number so in pin mode as we um, as we connected the led to pin number 13 so we written here the pin number as a 13 number pin and output as a pin number and we connected the led in the function of output there are two modes input and output so we given that led as a output function so we write here a output then uh, this uh, pin mode shows the prepare of pin 13 for output uh, for the voltage then in next there is digital write function in void loop so digital write function indicates that also it also indicates that a pin number and the function of led so our led is blinking blinking means turning on and turning off of the led so first we have to turn on led so we write the pin number 13 and for turning on we write the function as a high after that then we have to delay that function delay means to stop or to pause that led for a uh, time any time any kind of time so here we use one second delay so the time is written in this arduino program while is arduino programming in the form of millisecond so we, we have to delay that led or turn on that led for one second so we write here a thousand milliseconds okay then next we write again the digital write function for turning off led first we turn on led we write as a 13 high for turning off led we write as a 13 low same function we have to write then again we have to delay that function delay means pause pause the led for that several time okay in this way we write and uh, program for the blinking and led so uh, this blinking and led program there are uh, some uh, brackets or some brackets means uh, there are uh, some brackets are uh, present in this program while writing this program first is parenthesis means our cur uh, circle bracket and second is curly bracket so this parenthesis is used uh, to indicate the function uh, libraries and also pin modes then the curly brackets are used to indicate the uh, functions are used to indicate the functions are uh, included or it are comes in the void loop and void setup means it indicates the group of function then some kinds of the uh, statements or single line comments are used in programming that single line comments are two types as i say single line comments and multi line comments single line comments are uh, indicated by the two forward slashes and it uh, the multi line comments are indicated by the one forward slash and asterisk mark so the text written after the line comments are completely ignored by the compiler this text we have written only for our self understanding or for explaining okay then there is one semicolon is present in the uh, while writing the programming this semicolon is uh, write as a terminology as a terminator for a program we can write multiple program one or more program in a single line but with the uh, semicolon without semicolon you can we cannot uh, without semicolon we are not able to write or our function will not be uh, executed so these are same uh, some steps uh, while writing the programming then upload a program the last step is upload the program at this stage we just program a led to blink on and off at a set time interval and then we have to verify our program we have to compile our program then upload so there are three uh, steps main steps while uh, uploading the or while making the program first is writing the program then you have to download that program and upload the program i wish i hope uh, you all understand my topic Thank you so much.